Welcome to the Triple Play. I'm Nate Olson. I'm Grayson Sabias. And I'm James Grove. Well, there has been uh, speculation on whether or not the National League should adopt the DH rule that the American League has uh, just because it's hurting pitchers, uh, notably Adam Wainwright, who was coming out of the box the other day and uh, completely tore his Achilles and cost him the season. So, uh, do y'all think that the AL should adopt the DH rule? If, if you do, tell me why. The AL or the NL? <laughs> the, yeah, NL. NL. the NL should the NL adopt the DH rule. I think the AL should adopt the pitcher rule. No, I'm just joking. You're <laughs> smoking something. But... No, I think the NL. I think it'd be more entertaining to watch the NL adopt the DH rule. Yeah. Uh, more offense. Dude, like Mad Bone, Bone Garner was pissed, but you know what? Like he took shots at Max Scherzer. Dude, he did. He took shots at Max Scherzer, and you know what? If you if you want to bat so bad, guess what? DH. Yeah, for real. You, they can put you in DH if you want to. Hey, it's just what's really going to be funny is this whole comments uh, with uh, Baumgartner and Scherzer about how Baumgartner is pretty much saying that Scherzer knew what he was getting into. If he didn't want to hit, maybe he shouldn't have signed with the National League team. It's going to be funny whenever Max Scherzer comes up to bat against Baumgartner and hits it's one out. Of the <laughs> no, I'm not talking about just a base hit. I mean, he hits one out. He, it's gone. I think I think Scherzer's got a home run in him this year. Maybe maybe one. Hey, you know what? what what's what's Madison Bumgarner's contract look like? Not like Scherzer's. Ah, oh, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Who's yeah. getting paid? Yeah, let's talk <laughs> about the money. Like let, let let's have some uh, comebacks about the money. That's here, why he's a little pissed. Yeah. All right, but in seriousness, I don't think anything should change. Um, I, I agree that it would be get more exciting in the NL if there was a DH. But at the same time, I love the strategy of the game in the NL. Right. You have to work around that pitcher. That pitcher has to be able to bunt. He has to be able to hit sometimes. I mean, there are pitchers that hit it out every once in a while. How exciting is it to see a pitcher hit a home run? That is. That I is. mean, like Jose Fernandez. Or, yeah, yeah, Jose Fernandez. Hit that home run. Yeah, exactly. It's fun to see those kind of things. It, it adds an element of the game. It gets, gets the managers more involved because they have to work around the pitcher. What are they going to do? Double switch, stuff like that. So I like the, the way it stands in the NL. But I think if you if you had a DH just uh, for both leagues, mm -hmm. I think the pitchers would be more open to being able to be a DH. Like I think that'd be very feasible. Yeah, uh, like like some of the guys that got a little bit more power. You yeah, know? like you think a manager's going to put a pitcher that hits one fifty and may get a home run every fifty at bats? Matt Bowman made like two twenty something last year. Yeah, and they can find a, they can sign a guy for twenty million dollars who will hit better than two twenty. Twenty million dollars you could save and spend elsewhere. If if and spend where? <laughs> but just no no manager is gonna put a pitcher unless if he's an outstanding hitter, but no manager is gonna put a pitcher at DH if he has the option to put a role player there. If they, if they if they realize that hey I could be a DH and they may focus more time. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is maybe Maybe I mean it I'm might be the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> maybe maybe if it was like opposite, maybe if it was both pitchers bat in both leagues then yeah, maybe they'd spend more time on it. But there still is that possibility, hey, if there is a chance I could be DH, somebody that knows that they can hit the ball, like Jose Fernandez, then maybe they do spend more time on it. Maybe it's a possibility. Maybe it changes the game a little bit. But where I stand is I honestly think that it is a good idea for the National League to adopt the DH rule. Just because there is such a need for offense in the game right now, all offensive numbers are down completely. I mean, you know, you got way more guys – Striking out, I mean, it's just, it would, there would be so much more offense produced with the DH in the National League as well. And it's easier on the pitchers. Let's talk about injuries here. There's so many injuries that happen with pitchers. How, how often does that happen? Rarely. This, well, is, this is the first time I've heard about but, it in the last couple of years that a but, pitcher has gotten injured. And they get, you know, yeah, but, or in the head. But does it matter if it's how often it is, if the one time it does happen, that the guy gets out for the season. So if a pitcher if a pitcher slips on the mound, are we gonna start like regulating the mound it's where it's a, gonna happen if he gets injured there? It's a pitching that's injury. Their job. It's a pitching injury. That's their job. If you go to the NL, your job is going to be pitching and hitting. But that's you have to get over be. that. Yeah, but that's why we're you that's, know, that's what we're saying. That's why we think that the A should go. That way. I think it's more fun that way, but And no one mm. wants to watch that. Like I love watching the pitchers come up to that. I I totally agree with you. It's fun watching them. And Bartolo Colon, it's love. I love watching his helmet he fly off when hits. he swings. <laughs> <laughs> Bartolo Colon is like a sure how many walks into the plate. But would you rather see numbers or 
or fun. Dude, See, that's the thing. It's not. It's not only about watching the pitcher. I love the strategy in the National League. What the manager has to do to work around his pitcher and all of that. There is more strategy in the National League than in the American League. Would y'all agree with that? Yeah, but no I one do. wants to watch that. People, people watch more American League baseball because. I like to watch it. Yeah, you like to watch American League baseball. No, I don't like to watch National League baseball. But really, I would pay more money for a ticket to see one more home run in a game rather than a guy striking out, flailing at three straight pitches. I would rather see one more home run. Even if he went one for five, if it was just a freaking rocket, I would rather see that than a pitcher strikeout. Okay, you think of Boston? Like one of the first people you think of is Big Pop. Mm-hmm. Right? And, I, and, I, and that's the best example you got out there. Even when Vladimir Guerrero was playing baseball, like, D.H., like, I, I have nothing against the DH in the American League, but I like that there are two different leagues and that there's a little bit of a different element in both leagues. And can I also say something here, too? With the DH going into the National League, that would give prospects that are needing more time, are needing time, are, are waiting for their time in the show, that would give them a spot, maybe even in the field, and p- replacing that player to the DH, it would give one more person a shot. And it would just it would be more offense, man. I'd rather see offense than a, a pitcher striking out, you know, once every eight batters or nine, nine batters. You know, I just, I don't know. I think the DH comes in that. And I think, I don't know, man. I'm just not a fan of that pitcher batting. Never have been. Me either. James is, though. I'll watch it all day long. Well, thank you all for watching. Uh, follow us on Twitter and Facebook. You can uh, ask us questions and we'll uh, answer them the best we can, either through Twitter or maybe even on one of our videos. Thanks for watching. I'm James Grove. I'm Grayson Tobias. And I'm Nate Olson. Thanks, guys.